Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. Here I have Acer Aspire C24-1700 dash UA91 and I want to walk you through step by step on how to upgrade additional RAM as well as additional not additional but an upgrade of your M.2 storage capacity so if you're running out of storage capacity then you need to um, change out your M.2 drive and this video is going to help you to do so or if you want to upgrade additional RAM and this video is going to help you to do that as well alright so first let's identify your computer what you want to do is flip it around turn it to the back of the computer here if you take a look at the back of the computer here it should identify as in Acer Aspire C24-1700 let me bring it closer to the screen so that way you can at least see it so that would be the um, number of your computer okay that's the model of that now the next step is to pop open that cover get yourself some kind of a metal prying tool just pop it open Once you have popped it open, that cover, we need to remove the stand. All right. So get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. This is a Phillips number two. So it says PH two. That's Phillips number two. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. If you notice the screws on the top right corner and the bottom left corner, uh, bottom right corner, they are different. Okay. So the screws on the top and the screw at the bottom, they are different. So what you want to do is make sure you do not mix match the screw. Top on the top, bottom for the bottom. Once you have removed all the four screws, the very next step is to remove the stand. You just pop it straight up. All right. Once you have done with that process, the next step is to go ahead and remove the cover here. There's no screw or anything that holds on to the cover. So what it means is everything you have to pop it up open. So what you want to do is be very careful and gentle. Get yourself a metal prying tool. All you have to do is to pry open this cover right here, separate from the base of the, the, the computer. So I start it from the corner, the very corner, stick it in, and try to pry it open. So you can hear the clicking clicking sound today that means I have it some kind of opening gap right there if you can see okay once I have a slightly opening here what I like to do instead of using the metal prying tool I can use the plastic prying tool to run all across the, uh, the cover here so I do not make a scratch if you use the metal, you probably would scratch the computer, but running a plastic might not so. And as you're running around, you just try to pry it open. And work your way around the corner as you need it to. And try not to stick it too deep because you do not want to uh, damage the internal part of it so as you're running around the corner you just try to pry it open at the same time all right once you have the plastic bring being opened up you just pry it open like that and the whole thing will just open 
Okay, at this point here, we are still using the fillet number two, fillet two. And you need to remove all the screws to get into this metal plate out. Once we remove the metal plate, therefore, we can see what is internal part of the, uh, the computer. So there are three screws here at the bottom. Two here on the side. Two on the very top. one on the right side and the thing will just lift it straight up okay to remove you just lift it straight up okay here at this point you can see the entire computer that is the motherboard it looks like you can add additional storage capacity which is the 2.5 inch hard drive like so However, it doesn't come with the bracket, so I'm not sure how you're going to mount it. But it does look like you can install like such. Okay, maybe you can buy the extra accessories. If you want to have a secondary drive, you can just install it on this side as the uh, 2.5 inch hard drive or the solid state drive. Alright, so we are still focusing on adding additional RAM. As you can see, there are two slots first slot is taken care of to pop it open what you want to do is you want to push that two clipper the two metal side clipper away from each other so you push it like so and you can see the ramp slightly pop up at 45 degree angle and you can just slide it out this ram right here is the pc4 okay pc4 it stands for ddr4 it comes with the eight gigabytes of ram now what you can do is you can add additional RAM. So this is a PC4 as well, and it's a four gigs. You can mix match four and eight, or you can do eight and eight, right? Up to you. Now to insert, all you have to do, make sure that the RAM is aligned with the RAM slot, like such. Make sure it's aligned properly. And when you press it down, the clipper will just lock by itself, okay? That's all you have to do. Just push it down and you lock it. Now add additional RAM here. Slide it at 45 degree down. Press it down and the RAM will just lock it. You do not have to do any configuration. The RAM will show at 8 and 4. There will be 12 total. Let's talk about the uh, hard drive, the M.2 drive. Okay. The M.2 is using Philips screw, which is the Philips 1, PH1. Okay, that would be the Philips 1 for the uh, M.2 size of it. Slightly tiny. Remove that screw. Okay. And you can slide that M.2 to your right to remove it. Now the M.2 drive has this what we call the thermal pad. So this thermal pad is the one that conducts the heat. All right, direct the heat to the metal plate. That's how it cools off the, uh, the hard drive. Now if you're not sure where to buy the thermal pad, uh, I'll link them down in the description below and go and check it out. And um, yeah, so the thermal pad, the thickness is about 1.5 millimeter, I would think so. And another thing is, if you want to upgrade the M.2, let's just say that you have a one terabyte that you want to install, you can just insert it like such. Okay, put the screws back in and transfer the thermal pad on top of it. Okay. And that would do. You can re reuse the thermal pad. You don't have to... Uh, get a brand new one like such all right so what I wanted to get to you is 
before you upgrade your solid state drive or your hard drive or your M.2 drive, I want you to pay attention to this. If you're not sure what you're doing, um, because you are replacing with the new hard drive, all right, so this is the original. Because you're replacing with the new hard drive, the hard drive is going to be brand new, does not have any data, windows, program, or whatsoever. So when you turn on the computer, your brand new hard drive is going to be blank. You can't boot to Windows. Alright, so that is not going to work. When you change out the hard drive, you, you are given with two options. In my opinion, you can do the cloning, meaning that you can clone the original hard drive over to the new hard drive. And you need to buy one of these USB adapter. Okay, so that you can clone everything over from here and plug your USB into the computer somewhere here. There's a USB slot or here. Okay, so you can clone everything over from this over to that. Then you change it over. Then you have your entire Windows settings, everything all together. Now, if you do not want to buy one of this, you just want to fresh install sure you can this option number two right so the second option is to install a brand new hard drive and then you can come with buying yourself another windows you can get a windows 10 or windows 11 a bootable usb installer and you can fresh install your windows onto your new m.2 drive that's the difference okay difference of cloning and difference of fresh install all right that's all i wanted to share with you so that um, at least you get an idea what you want to do with your acer computer now um, for installing the ram you don't have to do any settings you just have to install additional ram and the computer will just recognize it automatically for the m.2 you definitely need to depending um, what you want to do is either fresh install or having a clone over okay um, check out the link down description below i will uh, do some kind of uh, a link how to clone and stuff in this tutorial all right thanks for watching if you find this video is helpful please give me a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe smash the like button comment below if you have any question regarding about this computer and thanks for watching until next time bye now